At the end of the hall of this professional medical building uh, I, I want to hear this. is a haven for black men where the barber's chair is also a couch for therapy. For some, it's a galaxy away from the chaos of life. So I come into this galaxy away from the worries and I step into his chair and I sit down and I just give my all to him. I express how I'm feeling or how my day was. For Jay Alexander, he's become the listening ear with the Clippers to unlock the soul. We don't necessarily open up right away about your feelings. We uh, actually go through these four principles you alluded to. Through the Confess Project, Alexander normalizes talking about mental health issues by following these four guiding principles, starting first with effective listening. That ear for validation, and then you have that positive communication, and then you have the uh, removing of the stigma of not being able to be vulnerable or open up as a African-American male, you know what I'm saying? Whether pre- or post-pandemic, studies show black men have a myriad of issues they worry about daily. These include poverty, unemployment, issues with police, or even a sense of inclusion within society. And oftentimes when you don't have a sense of belonging, it actually weighs on you. Right. You know what I mean? I don't care who you are. You can act like you're tough and all of that and say, me, 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 myself and I and all of that. Man, but at the end of the day, you're probably hurting too. Black men come in many different forms. Some are tough, emotional, different. Many more broken from the circumstances of life. He has given me so much confidence to embrace who I am as a person, to be different. From homeless men to students on the campus of U of L, Jay Alexander has changed the lives of many. This includes Dominic Collins, who was very expressive in his style. He's a happy-go-lucky person, but one time when I saw him, he was kind of down. I'm like, what's going on? You know, how you doing? Well, we always say, how you doing? What's going on? But then he didn't mind opening up going into detail, you know. Beyond his colorful hair, clothes, and his earrings bearing his name, growing up, Collins was often ridiculed for being different. But now he's a prideful example for his four adoptive siblings. What would you say to younger you, knowing what you know now, about your difference, about your being a part of adoptive family, um, all the ridicule that you may have experienced? Uh, just, just be yourself. Be confident in who you are and just go for it. Believe in your dreams and aspirations and just fight for who you are mm. as a person. Fighting for who you are. Jay Alexander admits that stories like Collins has brought healing to his own issues with mental health. He was diagnosed with depression and anxiety, often masking his feelings away from the world. But the Confess Project has helped him change the stigma around being vulnerable. You know, even Jesus wept. You know what I mean? Even Tupac cried. You feel me? So, miss me with that hard stuff. 